Hi everyone, it's Tammy and it's time to do my plan with me and my main planner. And this time I'm going to do something a little different than I've done in a long time. And I used some free printables from Victoria Thatcher. And I will try to remember to link her down below. If I don't, please somebody kindly remind me so that I can link her because she has awesome printables. They are all free and they are amazing. I am like dying over all of the cuteness. And I did not print them on sticker paper. I just printed them on regular paper. So I'm going to have to use my tape gun to tape them down. So let's just go ahead and get started. I am going to be doing, well, the last week of April. I don't know if it's, <clears throat> if I should do it in here. Oh no, it looks like I should do it in May since it's mostly May. So the first week of May, let's say. All right. And, oh, this is for my other kit. And this is, I'm going to use some of these graduation stickers, but I'm not gonna do that until a little later. I was thinking that April had 31 days, but it only has 30. So it does come with some washi. It's one page of eight and a half by 11 and it comes with a little bit of washi and then it also comes with some printed like decorative plane and then it also comes with pictures. But I also cut out some just paper that I thought I could use that's kind of cardstocky, and I thought it was really pretty. So I cut a few of those out so that I can use those as well. And I'm going to put the washi down here. Yes, that's very cute. So the one that I picked out for this is Peter Rabbit. I just love Beatrice Potter and I've always been a fan of Peter Rabbit. And it just said spring to me. And it is getting to be spring finally. I think the weather seems to be cooperating at least right now. It's a little chilly, but um, that's okay. At least there's no snow. <laughs> this says, believe that there, believe there is great power silently working all things for good. Behave yourself and never mind the rest. Beatrice Potter. Or Beatrix Potter, I guess. And then I also got some other washi that I thought maybe I could use. I got both of these, and then I got this one. I was thinking of using this one on the bottom, and since I didn't, I don't. I think I'm going to skip that one. And then I also have these thin washies, so I'm not exactly sure which ones I'm going to use yet. I think I might use this one right now. I know, you know, he's a boy, and a lot of the Peter Rabbit stuff is in blue, is in blue, but they also have some pink, which is pretty, and this washi kind of fits that suit, so that's why I picked this one. And welcome if you guys have been with me for a while. I absolutely appreciate that you're here. And if you're new, I really hope that you would consider hitting that subscribe button. And maybe you could hit the like button. I would greatly appreciate it. I appreciate all of you. And I post videos daily, which is crazy to say. I don't know that I've even ever said that before as a affirmative, positive statement that that's what I'm doing. I've said, you know, I'm posting da I'm posting daily right now, or I've said that for a while, but I think I've posted daily for a year, maybe? I don't even know. It's been a long time, so I think that it's okay for me to just claim that. <laughs> even if it's a short video, every once in a while I get those, but most of the time I post long, I mean like regular videos. Um, I do do two minute tips on Tuesdays. I try to. I need to tape some more of those. I don't have any in the queue, which is not fun for me. I like having things in the queue. Otherwise, it makes me feel very pressured. So the tips thing is really killing me. I And I said that I would do it this year if I could. So I'm really trying hard to keep up with it. 
I've missed a week, but I think that's the only week I've missed. The only, yeah, I think I've only missed one this year, but it's only the beginning of, well, the end of April. It's, you know, it's, it's not even halfway over and I am about out of stuff. So I don't think I'm going to be doing the tips again next year. They're not as easy as one might think. And sometimes I come up with a tip and then I forget it by the time I want to film it and to keep them short and I want to keep them crafty. I'm not doing like just any kind of tip. I'm trying to make it a crafty tip and it's just been kind of hard, honestly. So this even has day stickers, which is neat. So Friday is the 4th. I'm going to try to put these with it. Saturday is the 5th. Should have done this in blue. Is it too late to switch? Yeah, it's my planner. Never too late, right? Sunday is the sixth. Thursday the third. Wednesday the 2nd, Monday the 30th, and Tuesday the 1st. So let me go ahead and stick these down. Is there anything that you guys have been watching on YouTube or Netflix or Hulu or anything? I have been watching The Handmaid's Wife, or The Handmaid's Tale on, what is that? It's on Hulu. And... I really like it. It's kind of disturbing, but I like it. And the new season came out on Wednesday, and they're only releasing an episode at a time, though, so that's kind of a bummer. I like it when they release them all at the same time. I think that's kind of neat, because then you can just binge watch. So I'm, cut, I'm caught up, but I don't get to see another one until next week, or this week week that I'm planning. And if you guys know of any other things that you are watching, I'd love to hear what it is. I like to get ideas. Although with the weather nice, hopefully I won't be spending as much time watching shows. Hopefully I will be doing something active. And one thing that I'm hoping to do is a garden. And I don't even think I'm hoping. I think I'm doing a garden. I think I can say that now. Because I've talked to my husband and I just want to do like a small 10 by 8 starter garden. And I need to do some investigating on what I want to plant. I know that someone sent me a couple links to check out and I've looked at those and I appreciate it. And I just need to go in there and figure out what exactly I want to plant where and get started with that. I haven't built it yet. Around here in my area, they say not to plant anything until after Mother's Day. So that, that means I still have this week and then next week because then that week would be Mother's Day. So um, I still have a little bit of time before I want to plant anything outside apparently. I could start with some indoor plants, but I think the way I'm going to do it is just get some that have already started to bloom because I am not a green thumb and this being my first time, I want to give myself the best chance that I can of it working and liking it because if I don't, I probably won't do it again. I know myself well enough to know that I need this to be a success. And I guess I should define success before I start it since it is a new process. And I don't know exactly what that looks like yet. I know for me it, it looks like I have enough vegetables to feed my family without having to buy whatever it is that I plant and then also have enough to can. And that could be, I mean, that won't really determine success. The amount won't determine success. The quality and 
um, the amount that we eat, I guess, will determine success because I just want it to be good, free of bugs and stuff, and uh, to be able to enjoy it. And I want to not waste. And if there's enough for me to can some tomato juice and some tomatoes and maybe some green beans, I will be thrilled. And if there's more that I can can, I will be over the moon. But I just really love canned vegetables and my mom used to do it and I don't really even know how so I'm probably going to have to invest in one of those really cool canning pots and all of that. So. Isn't this one cute? Oh my goodness. And I think that there is a weekend sticker. Yes, there is. So I'm going to put that maybe here and then I'll put this underneath there. That's so cute. And my goal is to not have to, I mean, I talked with Dennis before I did it, but my goal is to be able to just take care of it by myself, um, which I should be able to do, I hope. I really don't know how much work it's going to be, so I guess I shouldn't say that yet, but, and my son and my husband will definitely partake in the vegetables, so if I need their help, I'm sure that they won't mind lending a hand since they will be able to partake in the fruits of their labor. So I am normally a no white space planner, which means I like to put stickers everywhere where there is white space. And I like to just make sure that I have at least an area each day to write some information. So I am putting these down. I don't think I have seven of them, so I'm just gonna put them down as I have them. I don't know how many I have. Looks like I have three more, so that would mean only five. But what I did is cut some regular cardstock out so that I can use that. And I can use that as um, a place to write as well so hopefully I cut enough out if not I may do some white space we'll see how it works out this is a new kind of a style for me I've, I've used Victoria Thatcher before but I it's been a long time and she has gotten some new designs posted and my goodness she is just really a doll for doing that and she has some great designs there's so many that I almost wanted to, this is for real, I almost wanted to do the whole year because I was so excited about all the things that she had. But I thought, no, don't do that. You're not going to be happy if you do that. But I was like, oh gosh, I could use this this weekend. I can use that this weekend. And I was just going nuts. So I'm just going to mark this where I want to cut it. And I'm not going to even measure, but I think that this side has lines. It does, so I'm going to cheat a little bit by cutting on the line on this side. And I kind of just like that design, so I'm just going to use this one there. I just opened my window and somebody is burning something and it actually smells really good. So then here I'm going to cut this right there. I don't know why I did that. There, I can see it. And I'm going to use one this way and one this way.
Oh, I didn't cut that very well. I left a little spot at the top. Maybe I will use a little washi up there. There we go. If I can get it to come up. My goodness gracious. So that one is done. I would probably like to put some there, but we'll see how it goes over on this side before I decide that for sure. So let me see here. Put this one down here. Cut it there. down this way. Hmm, no, I don't think I'm going to use that one. I might use this over here. Or maybe I could use this one. It's kind of got some cute stuff on it. It says a few of my favorite things. Put that there. And then maybe I can put this one here. And let's see, where do I want to cut it? So we haven't decided where we want to do this summer, like if we are going to go anywhere or any of that. I'm not sure yet. We still need to think about that and talk about that. Figure that out. I'd almost rather go somewhere in the winter time when it's cold here instead of going somewhere when it's warm here. You know what I mean? It's like, I don't know. This is cute with the follow your heart. But I really don't have anything to write or any place to write if I don't put something else here. I might see how the week goes before I put that down to see if I need spots here or not. And then I think I'm going to put this down here just to mark the weekend. I used to do that all the time and I haven't done it for a while.
but I really like that thin washi, so I'm going to use it. And then I might take some of these little flag things and put them on some of the boxes that don't have any decoration just because I think that they're really cute. And she had them with the kit so I want to use them if I can. There's three. Peter Rabbit. <laughs> that one's so cute where he's eating the carrot. Oh, come on. I can't pick anything up with my fingernails. There we go. That's super cute. Now those are extra, but I will use something over here. I don't know what yet. And I have some stickers. I think I could put those away. So I have my functional stickers all over here. And a couple things I know I want to do. This one is clean the microwave. I don't know if I'll put that on Friday or not. I might put that on Sunday and dust my blinds. I'm going to put that on Saturday. And change our sheets. Goodness, I might do that on Sunday too. And smile at everyone you meet. I'm going to put that one over here. That's a good thing to do every day. And then here's a graduation sticker. So I think I'm going to put this down. Maybe over here. And I can write something that I need to do for graduation. Which is address the envelopes, I think is what I will do. So I'll write that on here. And starting on the third, it starts the countdown. So I'm going to use some of these. So the third, there's 30 days. I'm going to put them right here. 29, 28, 27. So this is four weeks until graduation. Pretty sure that's right. I should probably calculate it just to be sure. So one, two, three, four. Yep. Four weeks on Saturday. Yep. Okay. And I want to clean my living room. I'm going to put that here. Time to plan. I'm going to put that on Thursday. And mow lawn. I'm going to put that on Sunday for Dennis. 
tis the season now. The dishwasher, I'm going to put that over here on Wednesday, along with the litter, which actually my husband needs to do now, too. Hump day, I need to put that down. Here's a little cleaning growl. I think I'll put that here. I, I try to do a little bit each night, but honestly, I don't get a good deal done during the week. I usually have to do my cleaning on the weekends. I'm going to put my face mask on Thursday. And my sewing, I'm going to put that down on Tuesday. I don't know if I'll get to it then, but I'll have it down. And knitting, I think I will put on Thursday as well. And I need to do my monthly breast exam. I'll put that, I can do that in the shower. $2 Tuesdays at Etsy. I need to do some computer work, just checking on things. I think I'll put that here. Clean out my car. I'm going to put that on the weekend too. And my husband needs his shot. I need to get gas. I'll probably end up doing that midweek. I also need to work on my Cricut, I think, or my silhouette. I don't know which I'm going to do, but I'll put that there. And then maybe I'll make a little list of some of the things I need to do. Clean the bathroom. I'm going to put that down on Monday. Um, this is like Target or last minute grocery shopping things. I'm going to put that, where am I going to put this? Because it's not grocery week really. <sighs> I think I'll put it here though. Vacuuming, I do get this one done during the week usually. I'll put that down on Tuesday. Car wash. I'll do that here with the clean car. Take out the trash. That is on Wednesdays. Do the dishes. I will probably do it more than once, but I think I'll put it here too. And clean my brushes. I need to do that. I might do that after my shower on Friday. Actually, I won't because I won't do it if I'm working. I'll do it on Sunday, hopefully. And my bully dog. Yeah, I kind of want somewhere to write stuff, so I'm just going to have to cut that off. But really, it was just uh, totally free this week, This, other than the functional stickers that I used. This was just one piece of paper. I think it was a six by six sheet of paper even. I mean, it wasn't even a whole piece of paper. Oh, I think I'll move this down and I think I will put a washi here. Just for pretty. Have a couple more here. Clean the kitchen. Shower. I like to put that on Monday. And I have the garden one. I'm going to put that over here. 
So maybe I can build my garden. I'm gonna put, gather supplies. And build, and he needs groomer. And he also still needs his rabies shot. I haven't done that yet. Maybe hopefully before this week starts, I will have had it done, but I haven't done it yet. Okay, so things I need to sew. I need to work on um, the sweater for my for my aunt's dog pumpkin sweater. And then I also, for her, she wants a sink skirt. So I'm going to try to do that. I've never made one of those before, but I did look online and found a tutorial that she liked, and I think I can do it. And I need to do some graduation grad decor from the sil silhouette or Cricut, whichever I use. And I also want to do some scorpions for my husband. His sign is Scorpio and he loves scorpions because of that and he wants one for his truck so I can make the little decals so I'm going to do that. Um, I guess I'll put my monthly check. And this is also This will be 15 weeks post-op and I will need to do a way in and I guess that's it guys but I think that's really cute I love Peter Rabbit, so I think that turned out really adorable. And the fact that she has them for downloadable printables is just amazing. And I just used, like I said, just regular copy paper on my printer and just printed it. One sheet. And yeah, that's all it took. So how cute is that? And it's very springy. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope that you guys have a wonderful day, and I will talk with you soon. Bye-bye.